Good morning, this is Cindy and welcome to my channel. And I have a bit of a different type of project today that I wanted to talk about. So I have these bins that I have made in the past. I'm going to see if I can get a little bit better light on that. If I push it back there, you can see it better. And these are made from shoe boxes. Hang on, just switching my hand for the camera. I don't generally do these handheld. Uh, so these are made from shoe boxes, and uh, I have decoupaged, I suppose that's what you'd call it, the outside. Both of these are were done with newspaper, I think. Nope, that one's newspaper. This one's uh, book page. I did newspaper the first time through because I didn't have any book pages. I didn't, hadn't yet hadn't yet gotten the courage to rip apart a book but now i have and so i did this one and i'm about to work on a third one that is my next one and i started the video on it and the video did not come out well so i'm going to pick it up kind of mid-project we'll talk about that in a minute but the question you may be asking is why do it at all why not just use shoe boxes and leave them well, because of this. This was a shoe box that I simply covered in contact paper. And when I pull that up, you can see how it has bowed out at the side. It does not retain its structural integrity very well. Whereas these, they're not going anywhere. I pick them up, I move them around. Um, yeah, and the, the stu structural integrity stays Oops, just fine contents don't always stay where they're put but everything's good uh you notice that this one has some divisions we're going to talk about those in a minute this one does not it is straight all the way through uh we'll talk about those divisions when i work on that one all right i'm going to stop my video mount my camera up above and then we'll move from there okay i'm back and let me tell you what you're going to need for this. Well, first of all, you're going to need a shoe box that has that type of a lid that, you know, that has that lip. You know, just a regular shoe box. Not one that's hinged. This is one that has a, a removable lid. So you're going to need a shoe box of that sort. Um, I have a piece of cereal liner wax paper down here to protect my mat. I have my this is Mod Podge, and it is primarily Mod Podge with just a little bit of water added to it, so it's not quite so thick and clumpy. Um, I would say it's more of a four-part Mod Podge, one-part uh, water. It's it's uh, there isn't a lot of water in there. It's, it's, it, maybe even a, a sixth of it. Um, so I've I've made that up. I have. This time I'm going to use music papers because I have a lot of these music hymnals. There was a church apparently that was getting rid of them back in the 90s. A woman in a town nearby bought up all of them. So she had like 150 of these things, 200 of them. And she was using them for various projects. But then now she then went and said, I need to downsize. So she was selling bags of her books for $20. And for 20 bucks, you got three or four, I think it was four grocery bags, you know, the, the canvas grocery bags filled with books. So I have so many of these now. I probably have 20 different music books. If anybody in the Finger Lakes area is interested in purchasing one, I'm not going to put it through the mail, but I would certainly meet you in a parking lot somewhere and we could... Um, exchange. I'm, I'm, I would be interested in an exchange. I'm looking for die cuts. So uh, if you're looking to do a swap in the Finger Lakes area, contact me through my Facebook page. Uh, the link will be down below. And yeah, I'll be willing to get rid of some of these because I'm never ever going to use 20 of them. So in any case, what I have done is uh, broken them up and I have gotten them all well, this one's got a little bit of stuff on the side. We'll take that right off of there. So th these are all now ready for Mod Podge. So you're going to need 
something to protect your mat. You're going to need your Mod Podge. You're going to need either music pages, book pages, newspaper. They all work. I have used all of them. And then you are going to need some sort of, I'm using a one inch foam brush. I have in the past used just a regular paintbrush. Uh, my paintbrush, however, is full of, I didn't get it quite very, didn't get very clean last time. And so it's now currently sitting in water to get the Mod Podge out of it. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I did start this. It was a really, I, the video just fell apart. And so I just said, you know what, bag it. We're going to try this another day. Um, I'm hoping my light is good enough. I'm going to go ahead and turn on. It's a pretty cloudy day today. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my, my uh, desk light. I'm going to move these out of my way because I don't want them right up there where they're going to be in my way. And if you notice, I did three different sizes. I have kind of tall and skinny, but they're not very tall. They're uh, about three inches tall. These are about four inches by three inches. And these are about three by three. Um, I really just kind of did them whatever I needed. But you do need the long ones to start with. Because the long ones are the ones that are going to go over the, the top. And I, I did three of the corners already. I start with the corners just to anchor it. Uh, let me go ahead and do this one. To do the corners, it's easier if you rip it down part way. Because then you're going to fold it this way in. So first thing first, I'm going to put a little Mod Podge on my corner where I want the paper to be. If you want to see the whole video right or the whole process right from the start, I'm going to highly recommend Carrie the Crafter's video. He's the one I learned this from. Um, I watched him do this and I thought, oh, I can do that. So on a day when you don't particularly want to work on the junk journal part of, of crafting and you're looking to do something else, this is a great task. I'm just folding it down. I'm hoping I'm on camera enough. Just folding it down. And I, what I want to make sure on the inside is it doesn't have to actually go in at this point, although I, I do think I want it to do that a little bit. So I'm going to rip that. I know you can't see me. Just ripping it a little bit more so that that will fall down. And then I want to put Mod Podge over the top of it. So there, that makes them go in there a little bit. And I want to make sure that's nice and tight. I'm not too worried if I get a wrinkle or two because, you know, it's that's the way it is. But I do, that's a little too wrinkly. So let me rip that a little bit. So that will stay down and this will go over it a little bit. There we go. Now it's staying put where I want it to stay put. And I tuck it up underneath, which means I'm going to need to rip there. Because I want it to go up and make a lip. And that's simply a design choice. That you don't have to. You can you can make it not go up that way, but I like it when it does. So yeah, I and I obviously make a mess of myself doing this. The corners are the hardest part. Once you get the corner done, the rest of it is easy. Okay, hang on, I gotta go get my cloth. I'll be right back. I also recommend that you keep a damp cloth nearby because you will, you'll want it. If you make a mess of yourself enough times, you'll want it. Okay, not the prettiest corner, but it's done. This part now is all easy. You're just going to put your Mod Podge down. And then I always like to put a little on the, the paper itself. Kind of reminds me of wallpaper. And then over the top, like so. Now 
Okay, just like this. Now the inside, I generally don't worry about. I, I'm not looking for the lip. I like to go over it so that it's there, but it's not, a lip is not necessary for me. And then out here, I do want my lip, so I'm going to push that up so that it is underneath. There. That one wasn't so hard. Told you, these, the outsides are much easier. I'm not going to do all of this on camera. I'm just going to do a couple of them so you can see what the process is. And then I'll come back and show you the inside corners in a minute. So let me finish getting this part done. Oh, hang on. A little bit on the outsides there just to help it stick. And you can vary which way the music goes. Sometimes it's right side up, sometimes it's down. You can make it um, pretty much anything you want it to be. Okay, that makes it stick. Okay, got a bit of a mess in my inside, so I'm just cleaning it up a little bit. And we'll come out here and we're going to make it stick out there. All right, I'm going to do that around the other three sides and then I will be back. Just a note as I come around this side, you can see that I did this before and I did not. Uh, the pages themselves really weren't long enough. So I have... Um, I'm going to go over them. This was part of the mistake that I made the last time. So I'm going to go over this a little bit better with another piece. There we go. You are going to get messy, so just kind of accept that before you start. You're going to make a mess. So see, these are, aren't too bad. But I really don't like how that one's kind of bubbling up a little bit, so I'm just trying to push it in. It's okay if it makes a little bit of a wrinkle, but I don't want the bubble, because if I do the bubble, the bubble might rip in the future. So you can see on the inside, they're not nearly long enough, but I'll take care of that when I get to the inside, which will be shortly. All right, pausing again and finishing it off. Okay, so the outside now is complete. I have the top done, and the time now is to work on the inside. I think it's going to be easier to work on the inside first. Obviously, this video is going to end up being uh, probably a couple of parts and um, so, see, then that, that's how you do your corners. You just rip it down about halfway, and then there is your corner. And so it's going to go into the corner of your piece. And I'm really sorry that it's kind of in the shadow, but there really isn't much I can do as far as the lighting goes to get in there and still be able to reach. So I'm actually going to put a little bit of glue on the inside so that that corner stays as a corner. And then I'm going to shove it in there nice and tight. And then lodge podge it in. Really, the corners, the worst part are the outside corners. These, these top corners are the worst part for me to do. I don't know why they are so hard, but they are. Okay, and I have my, I keep wiping my fingers over here. For, for this, I am using one of the square pieces. Um, I find that that works better. Okay, to make my little corner. So I'm going to get that all kind of cornered up. Make my corner. And then... 
stick it in a corner. Okay. So the inside corners are far easier, and I'm going to show you all four of them because it does bear repeating. So you take your one that's more of a square or like a rectangle. I'm going to get it all gluey. I'm going to fold it so that it makes my corner, so I can see my corner there. And then... I'm going to go come into my corner. I'm going to stick that, slide that right into place. And then I'm going to glue it down. Okay, one more corner. And then our corners are done. I like this project not only because it um, makes the boxes sturdier. I've been using this box actually just as it is for a couple of months. Um, and it was just starting to bow on me. So I thought, okay, it's time to do something with it. So I like the fact that it makes it sturdier. That's, that's one of the reasons I do this. But I also like it because I like how it makes the room look. Sorry, I'm back in the shadow again. It, it really just kind of dresses up the room itself a little bit. Okay. Uh, and now the easy part, again, um, I'm going to use, continue to use this. Hang on. I'm going to pull them down here so I don't have to keep reaching. Uh, I'm going to continue to use these the square ones, and I'm going to do all of the, of course, I just did that that way. Let me turn it this way so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to continue to do the edges, the corners. Are there, I, well, it's, I guess it's still technically a corner, but it's not the four corner piece. It's just this piece. So now I'm just going to go around and I'm going to do all of my corners. How straight you get the music, how straight you get your text uh, or your newspaper, that's really totally up to you. If you want, which way you want it to go, do you want it all to go the same way? Do you want it to go in different patterns? Um, it's a totally, totally up to you. I will do this entire seam and then I will, I mean, just, this is all I'm doing is getting it wet. And I usually just clean off the brush a little bit, get this wet. And then stick it down. And I see the other two I did upside down. So this one I'm going to do right side up. And if you notice, sometimes it is level and sometimes, you know, my edges here. I've got one up here, one down, and one here. I don't care. The whole point is Mod Podge. Um, you decide what you want to do. into the corner. All right, I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to do the other four, the other three sides, and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. I'm showing you that the entire bottom piece is done, and now we're going to lay some pieces down along the bottom. For this, I am taking off edges a little bit because I don't want quite so much white space down there 
Um, I don't mind some, but I don't want all of it. So I just want to get a little bit of, I almost didn't bother showing you this part, but it's because it's pretty self-explanatory, but I don't know what the heck. It's easy. Put that down and then just paste it down. Okay, and I'm using my long pieces again just to make sure that I cover the whole piece. And I want, I could make a straight edge. That doesn't, that's not important to me. If it's important to you, then make that a straight edge. And I don't necessarily want everything going in the same direction. Now, keep in mind, a lot of this is going to, if you noticed the other ones were painted, um, these are going to be painted as well. So, you know, think about your color scheme of your room. Do you have a specific color scheme? Oh, that's Onward Christian Soldiers. I know that song. I don't, I will admit, I do not know a lot of the hymns in this particular piece, and I'm alternating every other way. Okay, now, if you notice, oh, there we go. This one might need a little bit more because it's not quite... I have a lot of space there. And tapping rather than brushing sometimes works better to hold things down. Okay. A lot of techniques. Of course, I'm tapping because I have this kind of a foam brush. But if you're not using a foam brush, if you're using a regular brush, probably brushing it or tapping is not such an easy thing to do. I'm go back on this. Sometimes I'm just checking. Now I'm now that I've I've already pasted over onward Christian soldiers, so I'm just kind of seeing if I'm Catholic. So and these are Protestant hymnals. So there are a lot of hymns in here I don't know. Um, which is fine. You don't have to know all of the hymns to appreciate the fact that it's music notes, which is really what I'm looking for, is just the music. I sang in a folk group for years and years and years, but I stopped when I started feeling, I never wanted to be one of those church sopranos. Of course, that wasn't a problem because I wasn't a soprano, I'm an alto. But uh, I just didn't want to be one of those old ladies singing in church when they probably should have retired years earlier. So I retired. I got out of the folk group. So that's for younger people. And now things have switched. Okay, so that's done. So I now have, the only thing I've left to do are the sides. And for the sides, I'm going to tell you the same thing on the corners. Do the corners first. I don't think I'm even on camera here. Let me see if I can get into the camera a little bit. Do your corners first. You'll be happy that you did. I think I have to go this way because I just can't. I'm right-handed and I just can't see it if I'm trying to do it left-handed. And you're doing the same thing here that you did before. You're just that you did on the, the bottom corner or uh, sides, corners, curves, whatever. You're just doing it this way just to cover it up. Okay, I'm gonna go to this one, get all that good glue in there, and I want to use a longer one for this one because I've got a short. Um, this was one of the corners that I did with the short papers, and I should have done them with the longer papers. So I'm going to go with a longer paper here. Oh, uh, it might be too long. Okay, I'm going to rip off that white edge a little bit. 
which is a little harder to do now that it's full of glue. Waving my fingers. Okay. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. Just putting that in on the corner. See? Easy peasy. Um, I think I'm going to go with a longer one here too, but I'm going to rip it before I put glue all over it so that I don't have so much glue on my fingers. Okay, and glue in that corner. When I review this video, hopefully I will actually be able to see what I'm doing so that you can see what I'm doing because this is really hard to kind of get in there okay so I'm just coming in I'm trying to do this in camera with the light in there we go I want to bring it right up There, at least you didn't see that. All right, now you see I have a little pucker here. Sometimes you can just fix that with by adding a little bit of glue to it and glue it back down again. Sometimes you have to rip it and uh, fix it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the last one and then I'm gonna fill in these and I will be back. <clears throat> okay, coming back, I'm sliding over a little bit because I'm out of frame here so my inside now is complete it's still wet oh and I see a spot that doesn't I have a miss and that's what you do is once you get all the way done if you find that you have uh, either spots that you've missed or spots that aren't working well that's all right just fix them remember there are no mistakes only opportunities and I have an opportunity to add another piece in here on my side where I have missed. Now I see a couple places where it has is buckling. I'm going to let it all dry first before I try to do anything about that. Um, I'm not going to try to fix any of those places where maybe it, like it wrinkled down here a little bit. Um, I'm not going to be able to fix it right now. So we're going to leave that and we're going to go to the outside. So I have, we're basically doing the exact same thing on the outside that you did on the inside. Uh, again, I like to do my corners first. Hang on, let me get back up here in camera. And make it so that you can uh, see it here. Now this particular corner is one that I did with the uh, things too short. So let me see if I can get up in there. Come on. And fix that up a little bit. Rip that just a little bit so that it's going to lie flatter. This is a rough corner to begin with because it had, um, it was not square, not square at all. So there, so I've done that corner. This corner's a little bit easier. Got a piece sticking up here. So we'll just put that down. Uh, but this corner should be a little easier. I am gonna take a little bit of off, off of there. I'm not doing that on all of them. Oops, I'm dripping all over the place here. I'm just coming around the corner here. To do my sides. Now, um, some people do the corner here first. I am doing my sides first, and I will go back and do that corner when I do the bottom. 
and yes, I, you don't have to do the bottom because, you know, depending upon how you're using it, nobody's going to see it. I tend to do it because what the heck, why not? But just so that you know, you're going to do the corner the same way you did the others. Um, okay. No, I don't want to do my corners. Yeah, well, maybe I do. I'll go ahead and do the corner while I'm here. I'm sitting here debating with myself. All right. Let's go ahead and do that up. I'm going to make my corner the same way I have. Oh, except I just did it backwards. Okay. It's all right. I want to put my glue on this side. My glue here. And then attach my corner. Get that part to come down. This part to come down. Roll that over. Ta-da! And the corner is done. Yeah, you're going to want, definitely want one of these, a, a wet cloth, because boy, am I making a mess. Okay, let's go ahead and do the other corner. I'm taking one of my square ones, ripping it down part way, putting my glue on it, putting my glue on here. Eh, what the heck, we'll do it this way again. Glue it here, and then we're sticking it right here. Yeah, because you're going to get glue on you everywhere. Wear old clothes when you do this. Um... Although it's Mod Podge, it washes out. Okay, there. Those corners are done. I can, and I'm, I'm not going to be able to do everything today, or at least not right away. I'm going to have to let it sit for an hour or so, because once this side is wet, there's, I, I don't want to flip it over. I'm only going to get things stuck to it. Um, so we will just do it this way. Now, some people might be happy with that and say, okay, I'm done. I don't need to do the bottom once I've done the corners or the edges. That's totally, totally up to you. Um, and you notice some of my papers are a little bit different in size. That's okay. Oh, hang on, I want it to go this way, I think. Yeah, there's some great hymns in every religion, and I just good music. You know, it's just good music. Sorry, I'm reaching again. I'm going to have to, my piles are kind of a mess. And I think I'm putting it up right side up, and then I realize, no, you just stuck it on there upside down. That's all right, because it goes every which way. I got some that goes sideways. It's okay. That is not sticking so well down there. Why are you not sticking so well? There we go. As you can see, this requires a great deal of bodge podge. Actually, you know what? I want to do it this way because I've got that white space. I'm going to end up covering up some of that white space. Ah, come on, stay put. All right. I mean, this one goes kind of crooked and that's okay too. I just want the, I'm just covering it up.
Okay, we are coming into the home stretch here, and um, I am going to go ahead and pause this video. No, I'm going to stop this video. Um, and when I come back with part two, no, I want to go that way. Um, you will, this, all four sides will be done. But I'm doing the same thing on the other four sides as I've done here. So there's nothing, nothing to see here. Nothing to, re I'm really not doing anything fancy. So, yeah, we'll just finish this off. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause and I'm going to redo all of the, or re, or I'm going to do all my other sides. I will do the bottom. And when I come back, the whole thing will be done and will be dry. All right. I will see you in part two. If you're enjoying this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit like to let me know that you've enjoyed it. And I will see you in part two.